Hello and welcome to Video Revealed, I'm Colin Smith. Today we're going to find out where clip markers are saved. All right, I have a whole tutorial on making the most of markers. This is concentrating on clip markers and where are they saved? Well, why is that an issue? Well, there's two places they can be saved, in the project or in the clip. In the clip, only if that clip format supports writing data to the clip. There are way too many formats to list, and I wouldn't even know 90% of the ones that do or don't. Uh, typical things like, like uh, .mov, .mp4, which are both containers, um, and I've tried MTS, red files, and it's writing clip markers. I do have an MXF file that does not write that. I want to take you through the steps to make sure that you understand. And if you're sharing projects, this is very important. Let's have a look. So we'll concentrate on this folder here. All of these clips, except the, the folders in the top, these clips are in my timeline. This will be the place where we can test to see where the clip markers are saved. All right. In Premiere Pro, let's save some clip markers. So let's go to this clip right here. And I'm going to double click on this and load it into the source monitor. That's one way to add a clip marker. I'll show you another way in a second. So wherever I am on the timeline, if I tap the M key, it adds a clip marker. I'll double click on this and I'll write great for slow-mo. And I'll give it a color and I can give it a duration. I'm just using the comment marker not any of these other markers down here. Click OK, it shows up, and it shows up in the timeline. OK, another way to add a clip marker is to select the clip in the timeline and tap the M key, and you can see it adds the clip marker there. Double clicking on the clip opens it up in the source monitor, and I'll double click on this one to add some information and I'll type perfect for close-up. Again, I'll just give it a duration so we can see it. And this one will mark as blue. Click OK, and you can see that's there. Are these clip markers saved in the clips? Nope. Let's go have a look at that folder. Is there anything in that folder to show us? Nope, not at all. How do I know they're not saved in the clip? In the Edit menu on Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, in Preferences, Media, Write Clip Markers to XMP. The default for this is Turn It Off. That means that the clip markers are saved in the project, which for me, all of my files are here. I rarely share these projects. It's just fine. But what if I wanted to add a clip marker to this clip? So if I use this clip in a completely different project, I could get that information. This is really great for saving notes for this clip or maybe even licensing data of when this clip expires. All right, let's turn this on. Write clip markers to XMP, click OK. Did we write the clip markers to XMP? No, we didn't. That should really say, Write clip markers for all new clip markers to XMP. It won't automatically take the clip markers in this project and write them to XMP. You can't have both, by the way. Uh, you can duplicate the marker, so you can have a marker saved, which I'll show you in a second. You can have a marker saved in the sequence uh, in a project, and then you can change it to clip and add a clip and have them both, but that's I don't think most people would be doing that. You're choosing either or. All right. And to test whether those uh, clip markers are in the clip, let's make a new project. So I'll create a new project and I'll call this clip test. And I'm going to import them via the media browser. So it's that one. 
and that one. Import those. Double click on it and you notice the clip marker's gone. Double click on it, it's gone. It's not written to the uh, XMP. All right, so let's write clip markers to each one of these now. So I'm gonna to go to later in that, in that clip, maybe over here, and I don't have to have it in the timeline. This is actually the other timeline. I just have this, this opened up in the, the uh, new project. Again, I'll tap the M key and type, make sure eyes are open. Let's choose a completely different color, a duration, click OK. So now we've got a different clip marker. Let's open up this one. Again, we'll move down here and tap the M key. Darken shadows and desat. Uh, let's do a completely different color. Change the duration. All right. Let's go back to that other project. And you'll see the clip marker there. and you'll see the clip marker there. So you can't have two, um, the clip markers in the project and the clip markers in the uh, uh, clip itself. Premiere Pro actually did an override from the clips in the project and removed the markers out of them. So this is one thing to uh, think about. Um, I actually did a different test where it kept both, but obviously uh, one supersedes the other. Now, if we go back to that folder and look, you'll see there's, there's clip markers because they're in the project. But how do we know the clip markers are in there? The only way we know there are clip markers in those clips is to load them into a timeline or load them into a Premiere Pro or in the source monitor and look at them. Now, I specifically added this MXF file to show you what happens when you can't write a clip marker to a file. And to do this, let's go to the uh, Swimmer file. And again, I don't have to do it there. I can do it right in here. And I'm gonna move Premiere Pro so you can see this folder right there. So there's the items in that folder. I'm going to write a clip marker to the MXF that does not support clip markers. Place in my time head, loading it in the source monitor, tap the M key, and you can see what happened. The XMP is written to what's known as a sidecar file. The sidecar file is all of the extra information that can't be written to that format. That particular MXF format, which by the way, MXF is just yet another container from wherever that MXF came from, you can't write XMP data or clip markers to that file, so it writes it as a separate file. So that really is three different workflows that you have to pay attention to. If you wanna save your clip markers, and share projects or keep them on your own, then turn off write XMP to clip markers, keep the projects or share the projects, share the media and everything works well. And if you open that media in another project, it won't have the clip markers. If you wanna share the clip markers and the clips with someone else, but not the projects, you need to turn on write XMP to clip markers and share those clips and you have to pay attention to the formats that don't support clip markers in the file to make sure that there's XMP files, you need to share those. So I have to take both swimmer.mxf and swimmermxf.xmp and give that to someone. And if they move those two, if they get rid of them, if they look at it and say, nah, I won't use this and they toss it away, bye-bye clip marker. I also wanna show you these two folders. So here's a Canon C300. And you'll see there's already XMP information in this folder. And this Sony FS5 uh, has XMP data in it for both of those clips. That means the best way to share those formats is to share the whole folder with someone else. 
And that way, all of the metadata inside that folder will be translated and, uh, into the other system. That's why opening these types of folders, these uh, tapeless media folders, is much better in the media browser because the media browser is going to show you the clip. It won't show you all the rest of the metadata that's in there. You don't have to pick it. If you're just looking at it on the desktop, um, it can be quite confusing. All right. So there you go. I hope that helps you understand how to save clip markers, where they're saved, and if you're sharing them, the things you have to do to make sure that the person receiving them has those clip markers. All right, if you're new to Video Reveal, please take a moment and subscribe if you found this uh, informative. If you want to support us some more like our awesome donors, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and on the front of the channel. If you want to be advised of our uh, weekly tutorials, you have to ring the bell down in the bottom. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to make sure you're locked and loaded when you need to create clip markers.